um, Sami here again. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to import the autoresponder rule into your autoresponder for the autosave contacts future for WhatsApp. So I'm going to head up to autoresponder. Now we're going to tap on these three icons here by the top right corner these three dots here tap on it tap on import exports tap on import rules overwrite rules no just tap on add rules now is it now we need to navigate to where we have um, the extracted files from the downloads for the autosave contacts which is the folder you need to navigate to that folder in my in this case mine is on my device storage you can see it here advanced autosave contacts for whatsapp this is the folder so you need to make it you need to extract your your, your files and folders in a place where it, you can easily access it without looking for it for long you know so this is my advanced you can see autoresponder rule and task script that's the folder right there tap on it and you can see it auto it's a dot csv document you can see that that's the first one auto save contacts auto responder rule tap on it you can see rules imported right down there now remember i always tell you um if you have a list of rules like mine the latest rule you added or created will always be always be the last one so scroll down here, you can see it here, it's the last rule and it's all set. As it is now, once you, once you have, um, after, after this, once you have your autos, your tasker settings imported and correct also, and configured properly, you have no issue getting started with the autosave contacts. Also, another thing you can do is um, edit this. Yeah, you can edit this. Come right here to the top. You can type this. You can clean up everything here. If you wish to, if it's not necessary, just ignore it. But if you need to just click here, you can type um hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Would you like to know more about blah blah blah? Yeah, you know, this will be a custom message that you will use for your link or your ads link that will redirect them to your WhatsApp. If you don't know how to do that, I'll I will do a video soon on how you can get a quality custom um, WhatsApp link that you can set custom messages and you can also create multi multiple links that all leads to your WhatsApp. So you can create custom, different sets of custom messages, but all leads to your WhatsApp. You understand? So I'll do that shortly. But in the meantime, if you are editing this, just make sure you're editing just this place. If you don't know what you if you don't know how this autoresponder works, just edit here to with your content, and that will be your trigger word. Meaning that will be the custom message people come into your DM with. You understand? Though there's a there's a there's a act there's, a, there's an active um whatsapp and telegram channel support community support where you can easily ask questions and get apt responses as soon as possible so but make sure you don't tamper with what you don't know like i said if there's anything you need to change first of all start with changing the trigger word which is the trigger phrase set your custom message as your business needs and if you need help with that 
you just a dm away okay so after that you just tap on this check icon here by the by the by the down right corner this green here just tap on it and that saves your custom message now you can go ahead and trigger this with hello welcome would you like to know more about let's go here let's go to our virtual chat at the top right corner close to the dot button the next icon here hello welcome right what would you like to know more about blah 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 and you see that you get response in just immediately okay so that's exactly how it works